I feel pretty. Get into this eye look though. Whoa. Ooh, I think I'm gonna cry. But this is just beautiful. Whoa. Mm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, okay, there's a couple things I need to address. Number one, this is a lot. Giving you Ocean's 8 Rihanna vibes on the side of my head. Giving you every day when you're walking down the street, everybody that you meet, it's an original point of view. Ziggy Marley, we'll figure it out. I'm, I'm trying to learn how to work these. I don't, I don't really feel like they're my style. Um, I typically don't like this much hair on my head um, because I'm it kind of overwhelms me I have a little body and a little head so I'm not really cut out for all of this hair uh, I probably would like them a lot more if they were smaller um, or even if they were like shorter maybe so yeah I'm going to how many times do I say so yeah in every video because I feel like I say it a lot but anyway and but anyway um, this video is going to be a trying new stuff the new Fenty Mattifying Primer, Pat McGrath Foundation, Milk Makeup Stick Foundation, I have Milk Makeup Highlighters, I have the Jackie Ina Palette with ABH. Let's just go ahead and get into it because I have a ton of things I need to talk about and not enough time. I actually have more products that I want to try out, but of course I don't have enough face to uh, put them on. I just did a review on the Fenty foundation, so if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. This is the Fenty Mattifying Primer. Fenty just released the new hydrating line, so the hydrating foundation and the hydrating primer as well. And that's what I used in the last video. So this video, I wanted to use the mattifying primer. The mattifying primer gives you a very nice matte. It's not too drying and it doesn't make your face feel like hard or like stiff. Um, it just gives like a powdery finish. So far, the mattifying primer is actually my favorite. I like it a lot more than the soft matte primer for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know what's in it that makes it different. But as you can see, my pores look very, very smooth no shine but still a little bit of that glow you know all right let's move to this foundation um i got two shades i ordered it from sephora this is the pat mcgrath skin fetish sublime perfection 68 dollars. okay it's very expensive this is probably the most expensive foundation i've ever purchased but it's auntie pat and i feel like if anybody is going to get 68 dollars for me auntie pat would be the one all right this is the kind of packaging that i would want to keep like it's like a matte black i just got my fingerprint on it so it's not as cute anymore but yes it's a matte black and has gold on it just luxurious in all the right ways and you just pull this back Woo. It looks like a perfume. Look at that bottle. It's just so nice. Buildable, perfecting coverage, weightless texture, sublime satin finish, runway tested, mother approved, universal formula for all skin types, oil free, parent free, fragrance free. I purchased the shade 27 first. And then I watched, I believe it was Makeup Shayla. Um, she's one shade, she's usually one shade darker than me, but it's summertime and I'm a bit more tan, so I believe we're the same shade. Um, this is shade 24, and that's the shade that she was. So I got that shade too after buying the first one. Just from looking at it in the bottle, this one appears to be a little more on the red side. This one appears to be on the golden side. So I'm guessing that this one might be better for me. Um, whichever one I don't wear i will definitely be taking back because that's 68 dollars a little expensive it's a little too much for me to keep it i'm going to swatch both though so you guys can see oh comes with a pop so this is medium deep 24. that's 24. i always forget to shave my arms and my hands before i do these swatches on myself but i mean hey some of us are monkey fist okay y'all just gonna get these hairy hands okay that is 27. so 24 on the left, 27 on the right. I'm going to swatch both of them on my face. That's 24, that's 27. 
Oh, it blends so nicely. Even with my just my finger, it blends nicely. It's definitely too dark. So we're gonna do 24. 27 is going back. I don't I don't know why I picked a red undertone foundation. That was a dumb move, but we are sending her back to Sephora. But it was fun. It's nice knowing you. All right. What I will say is I like already how this foundation feels on my skin. I do two pumps to start and hopefully that's enough. I think it will be because that one little swatch covered a lot of surface area, so. Oh, hmm. All right, so that blended very quickly. Ooh, the luxe, the luxury. <laughs> Wait, guys, I'm really emotional today. And if I start crying because I like this foundation, I'm so sorry. Ooh. Oh, wow. So the me it is medium because I have pimples right here and I can still kind of see how dark they are after applying the foundation. So I can tell that this is a medium coverage, but it's supposed to be buildable. So I'm not tripping. Um, I like a medium to buildable full coverage because then I can customize how much coverage I have. Plus, I feel like buildable coverage foundations don't come off as cakey when you layer them as opposed to using a just straight out the gate full coverage you know what i'm saying i don't need it to come out the gate swinging for it to be a good foundation building it up and i'm liking what i see probably should have did my edges i did not do my edges today Ooh, girl these bomba locks got me feeling some kind of way because this is a new me um also forgive my eyebrows they need to be done really really badly I am really liking how this foundation feels and how it looks on my skin. Let me move this up because this is bothering me. I keep cutting off my forehead. Um, Milk Makeup has a new line of foundation sticks and this is what it looks like. I love Milk Makeup if you guys don't already know and it's my kind of makeup. It's like simple but eccentric at the same time and this stick foundation i tried the other day and i really really like it this is the shade hazelnut and i'm going to use it to contour since i already have on foundation today so this isn't really trying something new because i tried it already it's very smooth but a good stick foundation will give you good coverage but won't like be too matte and dry so that it tugs your skin and moves your foundation but it'll be just hydrating enough to give you like a nice luminous glow and they're also really good for sculpting and highlighting and all of that so you can they're multi-purpose is what i'm trying to say so i typically use this stick foundation in a darker shade to contour and then in my regular shade for like every day just want to put something on and run out the door situations i really like this foundation just by itself but the way that it's blending into this pat mcgrath the mm, this pat mcgrath foundation is a one sauce like a one lyrica and ocean zion i can't with no concealer or anything like this looks phenomenal let me try to move forward without crying so the concealer i'm going to use i'm just going to use my regular fenty beauty concealer this is the pro filter in the color 360 and i'm just going to use that under my eyes just brighten up the center of my face I'm just going to let this set for a couple seconds i'm going to go wet my beauty blender and i'll be back and I'm also going to put some on my eyes too as a base because I am going to be wearing eyeshadows and I want them to pop. So just applying this all around the eye as opposed to just under the eyes. I don't normally wear a lot of eyeshadow so if my eyeshadow creases and stuff I really don't care usually. We have to really do it today. We have to pull out the Jackie in us all right do it right I gotta do it justice so gotta do it the Jackie way you know what I'm saying Jackie 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 give the opportunity for the eyeshadows to shine okay I'm going to use Fenty's setting powder to set my under eyes this is not the right shade this is the shade honey just going to take that with my sponge which is not a beauty blender by the way I keep saying beauty blender but it's not a beauty blender it is a jello shots and it is by your lash bar is actually the best sponge ever i'm sorry it's better than beauty blender and any other sponge that i've ever tried um so you should definitely try to get your hands on it they sell out often so if it's available grab it while you can 
First of all, look at this box though. Like, I just, I love this box. I'm keeping this box. It's beautiful. It's croc skin, buttercream, buttercream, croc skin, buttercream, buttercream. Um, I love iridescent stuff. And you open it up, the palette is in here. Um, <laughs> it's so pretty. On the inside of this box, there is another box. And this is the box that contains the palette, okay? And if you guys don't know, I've been following Jackie since 2009. She adopted me at one point and I just, I've just, I mean, I've really enjoyed watching her glow up because it's been something to see just how much growth and I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing to me because I, she's the OG and she taught me so much about eyeshadow that like, I feel like I owe it to her to do this tutorial. <laughs> so this is the beautiful, I love the logo. Dennis did a great job. Um, and this is the palette. It has the same iridescence. Very, very pretty. You guys know, if you don't know anything about me, um, I'm typically not an eyeshadow girl. And when I do wear eyeshadows, it's always something rose gold, pink, red. I like those kind of warm tone eyeshadows. Um, or it's just very, very neutral. And this palette embodies like 80% of what I would wear in an eyeshadow look. So it's pretty much perfect i mean it just works like there's purples in here i want to say that this color right here sponsored looks like an eyeshadow that i bought it was one of my first eyeshadows that i bought from mac and it looks like that eyeshadow and i forget the name of it but it was one of the ones that jackie wore in one of her tutorials way back when um they, like in 2010 2011 and it was one of the first mac eyeshadows i ever bought if you know what i'm talking about please put it down in the comments below because i've been trying to think of the name of that shadow forever um but back when she used to work at mac and i wanted to work at mac so i would watch her tutorials and try to learn how to blend right and yes this is just giving me all kinds of nostalgia Let's go ahead and get into this because I don't want to keep talking and rambling. I'm an emotional person today, so I'm sorry. I'm going to start with the crease. I don't really know what, what look I'm going for yet, um, but hopefully it comes together. I'm going to add a little bit more crease color just so that I know that I have a good transition. I'm going to bring it down a little bit on my lid. And it's like the perfect crease color. I love this crease color. It looks so good. I can't decide if I want to do sponsored or wigglies. I think I'm going to do sponsored today and save wigglies for another occasion. Nope, nope, I'm doing wigglies today. But everybody's been doing those kind of colors. I'm going to do sponsored. We're going to put sponsored on our lid. I'm committing, I'm committing to this color. Part of me wants to change my mind, but I'm committing to this color. I just love a pinkish red look though. Like, I don't know why I cannot stop wearing pinkish reds. I love this. And it's like a shifty brown in there. It's like really, really pretty. This is a very Jackie Hanna color. Very, very Jackie. Like I said, I'm not an eyeshadow type person. Like, I'm not the kind of person who does like cut creases and stuff. I'm pretty much a one trick pony. I like to wear one shadow all over the lid with a crease color and a lash. That's my combo. Kick punch and that's it. I am going to add a little bit more of that crease, but I'm going to do edges, which gives a little bit more of a red undertone, it looks like. Place that in the crease as well, but like, very tight in the crease. Blend that out with the original crease brush that I was using, just to give me a little bit more red. I'm going to put Credit, which is this brown color here, on my lower lash line. That's a nice brown. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in the crease too, just to define a little bit more. I'm going to use a little bit more of edges and ginger to blend that just to make sure it's nice and diffused. I'm also going to take a little bit of ginger on the lower lash line just so that it looks nice and diffused. It doesn't look so harsh because it is a little bit harsh right now. Mmm, me likey. I feel like this look needs a little bit something, so I'm going to use 
a very small brush and I'm going to take trust issues because trust issues looks like it's gonna really do a number but when you apply it she comes off very gold these eyeshadows are very creamy from my other Anastasia palettes they don't they weren't this creamy I don't remember them being this creamy maybe I'm tripping I'm thinking I'm gonna put a little bit I just want to try all of them I'm gonna put a little bit of Soleil and Zim on here to yes Oh yes, honey. This one, y'all. This one right here. My, my, my. Oh, Jesus, it's a far. I think we're doing something. All right, we're doing something. I don't want to mess this up. I feel like it's getting somewhere. How do we feel, guys? How do we feel? I can't wait to try more looks with this palette. I feel like this is going to be one of my favorite palettes to date. I think what's missing is my eyebrows. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Eye look is done. I need to put on some eyeliner. I always do this because I just like the way that it looks. I'm going to use a flesh tone eyeliner and put that in the rim of my eye. What is this? Laura Mercier Caviar? Caviar volume on my upper lashes but first I'm going to do my bottom lashes I'm going to use my favorite bottom lash mascara this is Rimmel Lash Accelerator sorry if you can hear my dog she's uh turned up right now can y'all play downstairs I'm not even doing try not to get it all over my freaking eyelash I mean, I sh what? What is this called? The eye skin that? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> eye skin. That sounds like something you put on your iPhone. And it probably is something you put on your iPhone. This looks good just with no lashes, but we're gonna put on lashes. And of course, it wouldn't be a complete Jackie Ina look without. A specific pair of lashes that I bought specifically for this video and they are the baddie B and this is the style Swussy this is what the lashes look like mmm yes that is perfect bellissima I'm gonna use the your lash bar lash glue it's the perfect lash glue man I used to really love a uh, house of lashes lash glue but that one when you put it on it like doesn't ever come off like <laughs> your eyelashes will be on for a long time but then the glue kind of lingers afterwards and it's hard to get it off so you may end up with lash glue in your lashes for a couple days which is annoying so i like the your lash bar one because it does not do that wow a lash a lash a lash my eyes have come along. This is what Jackie be feeling like. This is why she be acting up. This right here, these lashes. What? Oh, with the eye look? Yes, sis. Giving looks today. Okay. <laughs> Let me make sure I go a lot of places tonight. <laughs> Strut. I usually don't do this, but when I do this. Okay, when I do this. So the rest of my face, I'm going to highlight. Milk Makeup has some really new highlighters, some really good new highlighters. Um, they are the Flex highlighters and I was not prepared to be as shook as I was when I applied these. Um, this is the color Iced, which I kind of took a chunk out of. Yeah, that's Iced. So that looks like it'll go with my look. This is the color Lit, a more champagne blit blitzed and that one is very very pretty this is like a darker champagne and then this one my friends is the is the money maker right here this one was the one that really sold me glazed mm. Ooh, sis it's like a deep golden bronze it's between glazed and iced which is the gold one i think i'm gonna do a little bit of both actually that with my um highlighting brush from Sephora that everybody is always asking me about. This is the Featherweight Blending and just kind of dance that around my cheek and my cheekbone and just going to also brush that through my eyebrows just a little. There we have it. 
Mm. The hot donut sign is on at Krispy Kreme. Girl, listen, you can get you a man with this highlighter. Milk makeup usually doesn't go off like this. I mean, they go off, okay? Usually it's just like, oh, that's a cute little product. I can use that when I'm feeling funky. But this is kind of like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. You know, Shookington. All right, that's glazed and honey child, she is everything. Then I'm going to do a little bit of iced right on the um, high point because we want people to see us in the dark. You know what I'm saying? Just in case the lights go out, somebody's gonna need to be able to see. I can be your flashlight. That sounds like a song lyric. When you're lost in the dark, I can be your flashlight. That's the caption. I'm gonna make that a caption. Next picture of me and Cam is gonna say, I can be your flashlight. And it's only gonna work if my highlight is popping. If my highlight's not popping, then never mind. So, I mean, greatness just commenced on my face. I don't think I have anything else that I really wanted to, you know, highlight, no pun intended. I'm still obsessed with this Taraji, which I'm really sad because they don't even make this anymore. I don't think Mac makes this anymore, but I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my cheeks just to give some redness and kind of like go with the edges eyeshadow that I put on my face, on my eyes, I mean. But you could totally use the eyeshadow as a blush if you've never done that before. Um, it kind of helps to bring continuity to the look so that your eyes and your cheeks kind of match. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna use my same lip liner that I always use, which would be the ColourPop. And this is BFF3. Do y'all see how small this is? That's how you know she's loved. And I'm just gonna line my lips with that. There is a gnat in here. So I don't know what lipstick I'm gonna wear. I don't really have, ah, I do have new lipsticks. Jamie. Ah. I got this big old thing of lipsticks from NARS. It's too big, I can't even bring it over here, I'm sorry. But here's two of the lipsticks. This is the shade uh, Miramar, and it's like a nude. Of course, I grabbed it because I am a nude girl and I love nude lipsticks. This one is a matte, and this is called Raw Love. This one's a little more muted. I think this one probably will go better with my look, so I'm going to try this one first. That gave me gray-purple vibes that I wasn't really sure that I wanted. So I'm gonna do a little bit of this on top. This is Miramar. Add some of that. Uh, no me gusta esto. Is this shimmery? I don't think it has shimmer in it, does it? It looks like it does. This looks like it's actually like a satin, like a sheets, satin sheets. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of this. This is Stay Matte by Rimmel. That's not the shade. Raw Embrace. <laughs> and I'm just going to put that in the center. I'm going to put Quickie on here too. Do you see what happens? This is why when people ask me what lip color I'm wearing, I'm always like, I'm wearing five different lips because that's what I usually do. I usually put on like so much lipstick. No, let's just do this one. This one is the Urban Decay Midnight Cowgirl. And we're gonna do that on top. Y'all see that gnat flying around? Get away! Please don't stick to my lips because having a bug get stuck to your lip gloss is literally the worst thing ever. It's happened to me and it was gross. I'm going to be trying this new little beauty. This is from Beauty Bakery. Look at it. It's a fridge and it says headed to the store for baking spray and you open it up like this and the baking spray is inside. I just love Beauty Bakery's packaging. They have the best packaging hands down like amazing. Is it Grace or Grace? Sweet Grace baking spray and it says the prayer of a sweet lover. Now I lay my brush to beat I pray this sleigh is one to keep. I trust, I put my trust in your grace to help me keep my cake face. <laughs> That's so cute. Pray then slay. Yes, cashmere. <laughs> Makeup prayers. All right, 
It says shake well, apply after makeup, hold eight to 10 inches away from face and in a circular motion, circular motion two to four times. Eight to 10 inches. I never know how far eight to 10 inches actually is. So we're gonna hope that this is it. <coughs> yeah, it smells sweet and good and delicious. And um, we're gonna let that sit. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did enjoy making it because everything I put on my face I pretty much am obsessed with and I can't wait to try everything again with a whole different look. That Jackie palette, I, when I saw it I was like this is gonna be a really good palette because there's not many palettes that I like that have like a cohesive amount of shades that work for my skin tone so to have a palette that all the shades work is just amazing there's no everything works together it flows together you can pretty much use all the shadows for one look if you wanted to somebody should try that um maybe not me because i'm not that gifted and talented when it comes to eyeshadow but if you are you can do cut creases and stuff you could probably fit all those eyeshadows on your eye it just ain't me though but this is a look um i'm gonna go take some selfies and um you know try to slay the gram for a sec hope that you guys enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up let me know you want to see more makeup videos and i'll see you guys in my next one okay bye